Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are doing well. Before we get into the video, please be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you join my community here on YouTube. My followers or whatever, my community, my family, we get each other. It's a real, it's a real family. It's like tight knit. I love y'all. So if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, come on, join the family. Come on. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so in today's video, I really wanted to just talk about something that God had placed on my heart, something that I've really been thinking about. I really just wanted to make this video to encourage anybody who's out there um, who feels the pressure to compromise their values, their morals, you know, what they have going on with God in order to succeed. I really wanted to just make a video and just kind of speak to that person because that is something that I have definitely been thinking about over the past few weeks, you know, especially when it comes to all the different trends of social media and how specific and intentional um, and calculated you have to be to really grow these days. I know back in the day when I started on social media, um, kind of in the natural hair space, you would just grow organically because so many people wanted to get information about natural hair and they wanted to see tutorials and so many natural hair pages would just share people. You didn't have to be super popular. You didn't have to be well known, but you could get shared. So that's how I got a lot of my initial followers because I was in the natural hair community. But over the years, it's become a lot more challenging in order to grow online. And there are certain trends that are very popular. There are certain types of videos and certain um, types of content that goes more viral than others. One thing that God has really been impressing on my heart is that I don't have to compromise my values, my morals, my beliefs in order to be successful. I know that my specific journey on YouTube and on Instagram and on social media has been very progressive. It has not been super crazy. You know, I don't I've been on YouTube for so many years, y'all. I have been on here for like seven years and I'm making my way slowly but surely to 100K. And I know that sometimes it can be discouraging, but God has really just been encouraging me to stay the course, keep doing what I feel like I'm being led to do, which is to share positivity, to share encouragement, and to really not stray away from the purpose because Purpose supersedes popularity and it, like popularity and success and all those things can look so appealing, but if you lose the purpose in it, then, then what does it really mean? You know, I would rather have what God has for me doing things his way and not necessarily doing things my way. I think that that's like so huge and if you feel similarly i would encourage you to really lean into your purpose and figure out you know god what is it that you want from me in this season so that you don't end up just chasing fleeting trends compromising your morals compromising your values and essentially compromising what you feel like god is leading you to do so the verse that comes to mind when i think about this topic is mark chapter 8 verse 36 and it reads what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul so i think that it's so easy to lose sight of your purpose and your reason your why and just chasing after things that are fleeting my specific interest i like to share my faith i like to share encouragement i like fashion hair makeup um, those are the things that are of interest to me. But for example, I just started making reels on my Instagram. I have a TikTok, but I really don't post on there, but it's Leah's Essence in case you want it to follow. Um, for some reason, they won't let me upload a picture, so I don't even have a picture on there, but it's me uh, if it says Leah's Essence. But um, anyway, so I just started doing more reels on Instagram and I felt challenged because I know that you should put music on there and there's certain music that is more popular that is like music that i don't listen to like i would never promote music that has cursing in it or 
anything that I deemed to not go with me. Like music I would never listen to, music that doesn't go with my brand, music that I would not want to promote to others, but there is specific music that is very trendy when it comes to doing these videos. So I posted a reel earlier today and um, the song I chose to go with was Kirk Franklin and you know, it might not go viral, you know? So it's like, I'm getting to the point where it's like a crossroads. It's like keep doing things the way I feel like God is leading me to do them and I, you know, who knows what's gonna come from it. Or I could do things in the way that people say is super calculated to get to success. I would rather take the route, the route of maintaining true to myself, maintaining true to my beliefs. And I just wanna encourage y'all to do the same. It's so easy to lose sight of who you are, trying to keep up with everybody and their grandma. And I just don't have time for it. So be encouraged. Just know that you're not alone. Like the Christian walk is not necessarily easy. It's not always the most popular and it's not always what everybody wants to be doing. But I would rather be a light in a space where there might not be as many lights, you know, rather than just follow the pack and follow the crowd. We just started a new year, we're in 2021, and I want you to be encouraged to be yourself, be who God created you to be, and do not feel bad about that. You don't have to apologize for being different, for walking a little bit different. It might not be the most cool, it might not be the most popular, but like I said, purpose supersedes popularity. And I would highly encourage you to lean into that. If you don't know what your purpose is, really seek God and you know ask him for that guidance. I feel like in 2020, one thing that God really showed me is that my purpose is encouraging others. So that is kind of like what I like to do. I do have my other hobbies as well and other things that I like, but the purpose in the soul of what I'm doing I want people to feel encouraged so feel free to like do videos do reels but be mindful about the lines that you're not willing to cross like I'm not gonna do music with people cursing I'm not gonna be doing all that but y'all gonna get this Kirk Franklin um, <laughs> I don't even know any other music like I don't even know current music for real like and I, as far as I'm concerned Kirk Franklin you know, gets the party going, if, if I might say so myself. Don't act like y'all y'all never got, got turned. Do people say turned? Do they? Lit. Don't act like you never got lit to some Kirk Franklin, okay? But me specifically, like I am an old soul. I feel like internally I'm in my 40s or something, but I'm a whole, I'm literally 26. I'm still in my 20s, which is crazy, but I have been like this for so long. And for so many years, I felt like I needed to fight against my nature to conform. I remember being in college, just feeling like, you know, disinterested in the things that other people were doing, but feeling the pressure to go anyway. You know, like, oh, there's a party, let me go anyway. Or, oh, people are doing this, let me go. But I felt the happiest at home with a candle lit, watching YouTube videos. Like I literally got into YouTube and watching videos when I was in college and I've been hooked ever since. And it's okay to be different. It's okay to go against the grain. It is okay to do your own thing. Like the, the approval of other people, it does not, matter in comparison to the approval of God. When I show up to heaven and I try and get into heaven, I don't want God being like, well, why did you lead all these people astray? You know, I think it's important to be mindful of the influence that God has given you because God has given all of us influence and I feel like it's important to really be mindful. Be mindful of what you wear. Be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of how you act because you never know who you're watching, who is watching you and you, you don't want to, you know, mess up your witness. Now, I will say like things happen, people struggle, you know, you're not gonna be flawless. But as far as like the things that you can sit around and like actually plan out, I would recommend doing them intentionally. So, be encouraged if you feel pressured to succumb to the trends and all of the things of this world that is normal your average christian will feel that way like i will say that being a christian and sharing your faith has become more popular i would say over the past 
maybe like three to four years but prior it really wasn't that cool like when I first started my YouTube channel I didn't even tell people I was making videos people at my at the school I went to just started finding my videos and I was like really embarrassed I was just making videos and just posting them and the people out in the world who would find them would watch them and I was okay with that but people like that I was going to school with or my family watching them super embarrassed now it's become more cool there's a whole community of Christian influencers and it's an actual thing but you can easily blur the lines of Christian faith-based content and worldly secular content and I'm always trying to make sure that I am staying in the Christian realm so that I'm not disappointing God I'm not taking my um, platforms for granted but yeah y'all I wanted to make this video just to encourage y'all I I know the struggles I know what it's like and you're definitely not in this by yourself be encouraged be mindful about the decisions that you make be mindful about the influence that God has given you and be encouraged because you're not alone we're literally all in this together um, we're just walking out different lives but it's the same stuff you know the principles are the same so if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed already I would love for you to subscribe and yeah I hope that y'all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see y'all in my next one bye